recording. So, okay, we should be good. So basically, I just wanted to get Ashley on here. Um, she's one of the newest VIP elites, Presidential Diamond. She just hit the second rank of the company, you guys, and I'm just so inspired. Absolutely love this girl. So I just wanted to hop, ask her to hop on here and just kind of tell us her story and just some tips. So um, Ashley, if you just want to start with like going over your story, I know you've been on here before, but just for any of us who don't know you. Yeah, it's so funny because the last time you and I did a Zoom was whenever I was in Alabama and it's almost my husband and I's one year anniversary of being married. And I was like, it's like almost to the day, like one year, like exactly since we've done a Zoom. But I'm so, so excited about this um, for you guys. Is, um, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Ashley Pfluger. Um, I've been in this business for a little bit over five years now, and I just won Presidential Diamond last month. Um, and I'm so, so excited to just like share my story with you guys. Um, whenever I started this, I was 19 years old. I literally had no idea what I was doing. Um, I saw my cousin posting about it on Facebook, and that's how most of us see this. You know, it wasn't like anyone reached out to me. It was just her post that drew me in. And um, I think so many times we get so stuck in like the messaging and the host of posts, but our posting is so so, so important too, because that's what like drew me into doing this. Um, though it was a lot different when I first started. Um, but, um, I started this business and like, like I said, I didn't know what I was doing, but I didn't even like do anything. I just ran my auto ship and I was paying for my e but I had no idea what the heck I was doing. So I didn't do anything. I just sat as a distributor for eight months. I kind of posted maybe once a week, um, but nobody was ever like mean to me. Like never kicked me out of the team pages. Like nobody was ever mean. Like main, the main reason why I even joined was because I was just like, if my parents would just stop asking me what I'm going to do with my life, then I would be like, you know, this will give me a buy for maybe another six months to a year. Maybe they'll shut up and stop telling me to do something with my life. Cause at the time I was working at a sandwich shop. Like it's the only job I've ever had making $9 an hour. Um, and I had dropped out of college and I mean, 19 years old, you just don't know what you want to do with your life. And so when I started at works, like I didn't really want this to be my career. Um, but I saw people making a lot of money. I remember when people were like, Oh, I went presidential in four months. And I kept telling Trey, I'm going to go president in four months. Well, here I am five and a half, you know, almost five and a half years later, finally went presidential. Um, everybody's story is just so different, but those stories are what like kept me motivated going through it. Um, in that first month that I decided to actually like jump in within four or five months, I had went diamond. And so if you're on here right now and you're brand new, like we have that roadmap and that plan for you to go diamond within your first three, you know, three, three to four months, um, and get that bonus and stuff like that. So, um, Gosh, there's so many things. Like, I hate being that person that's like, this is how long it took me to do this, and then this, and then this. Um, fast forward to now, I'm presidential. My husband and I were able to buy our first home because of it works, um, income disclosure statement. And, you know, just because of this business, like, I was a double diamond. I had saved like so much money and used that money as like a down payment. Like you don't have to be triple pres ambassador to save money to be able to have a house. Like I was a double diamond and I saved the money for us to have a down payment on our house. And like that, that's what's so cool about this. You just have to be smart with your money. And that's something that I'm like super passionate about. But anyways, besides that, um, whenever we moved into our house in November of 2000, gosh, I don't even know, 2000, 18. So it's almost been two years now. Um, I had my daughter and then right after that I went triple diamond. And like from that point, like I think so many times we hit these ranks and you know, like we just not necessarily like get in our heads and stuff like that, but it's just a lot, like it's a lot to handle and it's a bigger team. It's like, how do you lead them? Like I'm tired. I've been freaking working for four years straight. Um, so it's just a lot of just, I just had like a lot of ups and downs after I had my daughter. Like I was like, I don't even know, like what I want to do with my life. Like, can I just sit here and not work anymore? Like, do I have to keep working? Like, why is it like this? Um, and I didn't, like, I knew that, but I just didn't really have like that passion and that fire. And it took me, you know, to kind of have, go through the, the valley a little bit to realize like how important that hard work is. And like, just appreciating those simple things. So I always just appreciate like where I've been and like the things that I've gone through that have gotten me where I am today. At conference, I was being paid as a diamond, guys. So I'm speaking to people who are diamond right now. You can go presidential in four months or if you hit a rank and you've jumped back a few steps, like, or you've taken a few steps back, you can push forward and you can go diamond or you can go double triple uh prez like that's exactly what it did it was month after month i had hit that next rank and so on april 1st or april gosh i can't believe it's june i was saying this yesterday like how the heck is it june I, like there's so much momentum right now and i love it um so 
at the beginning or at the end of April, because Rachel Jones is my accountability partner and she went triple or yeah, triple 2.0 and I had gotten my triple diamond back and she was like, do you think like we could go press? And I was, and she didn't even say that. She was like, let's go press. And I'm like, that scares me because I just got my triple back. Like it's a lot of freaking volume. Like, I don't know how it's going to happen, but whatever. I was like, all right, like we'll just try and see how it goes. Um, and I just like told my team, I was like, I'm going to do this. And like, honestly, at the end of the day, it was like Cheyenne knocks her story that like, and she's your guys' upline. So you guys know who she is. But the fact that like she could bring in that volume, I kept telling myself, there's no reason why we can't bring in this because God did it for her. And so like, that's what I just, that, that story like kept me going all month when my number weren't where I wanted them to be like every single day it was just like God can do it for her he can do it for me and I didn't have like this sense of like anxiousness I didn't like I wasn't like worried about it um and that Sunday that was the last day of the month we needed 8,000 volume a little bit over 8,000 and never ever ever did we bring in more than 4,000 each day and I was like, I have no idea how we're going to do this. And I'm not kidding. Like it was every hour, 800 GB down, 800 GB down. Like there were like 440 BD orders being placed with current customers. It was the craziest thing that's ever freaking happened. And like at the end of the day, like God literally made it happen. And, um, it was just, it was the coolest thing to just see it happen and see it all come together the way that he wanted it to. But if I would have been anxious, I would have been pointing the finger at people. I would have been crabby and like, Oh, I already said I was going to hit this. Like, what if I don't, that's embarrassing. Like I was okay with not promoting. Like if I didn't, because it was God's plan. You know what I mean? I think so many times we get embarrassed there and then we don't hit the goal because we're so worried about like what people are going to think but at the end of the day like the only thing I really care about is what God thinks and God knows I put the work in God knows that I have a good heart and so like he he's the reason why that happened last month um so that's a little bit about my story and yeah I could literally talk about this subject for like two hours so just show me up <laughs> no I love that and it's actually so funny that you were talking about that because I was going to ask that can you talk about like how your promotion to Prez was and like how close you were and everything so that's like freaking crazy because I know for our team right now um we just reloaded triple diamond last month which is like absolutely insane and just like kind of like going along with Ashley's story um like we were both like paid as diamond at conference and like that's insane and the fact that like she just took her team like they reloaded triple and then or reloaded double reloaded triple and then went prez like that's exactly where we're on that path right now so it's just that's another reason why i really wanted to get you on here because remember you and i were talking about that mm -hmm. um but yeah that's just so exciting so basically i was kind of thinking of like some questions Oof. Well, and just to, like, touch on, just to touch on that a little bit, it's like, I think so many times people don't talk about those things. So then when you're in that like valley, like you don't know what to do because you think you're alone. And so that's something like, that's why the people who have been with me for three, four years are still with me, even though they've gone through the valley, because like, I'm like, look, I've, I, this has happened to me too. Now, when it, when it's happening, I don't sit and dwell in it. I don't tell them, but it's like, when you overcome it is when I'm so open about that situation, because you can get through that. I just pick my big girl panties up. And I was like, like, I just put them on. And I was like, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm not going to sit here and blame having a kid. The reason why I can't like get back up there. And I kept thinking like, one time I had 78,000 GB and I was like, that is insane. Like I remember at conference, I was like, I don't know, like, I can't believe I ever had that. Well, little did I know two months later, I'd have 101,000 GB. And it's just so crazy because like, I, it's your mindset. I feel like has so much to do. Like if you keep saying like, oh, I can never do that again. Like your best days are literally in front of you. They're not behind you. Your best days are still to come. And it's so hard to think that when you've seen that high paycheck or you've seen that volume um, or people on your team have quit, like I'm not kidding in October of last year, I grabbed two people. One's on here right now. And the other one just went triple diamond last month. And I said, let's, let's do this. Like I literally had six people on a team zoom in October. And now our team Zooms have like 40 to 50 people and we have like crazy enrollments. And I'm like, just trying to live in the momentum that we do have, but also remembering to just like remain so humble in it. And like, remember that like promotion success, all that comes from God. And that's what happened with our team. And so like our team, like when I was like telling them, like, we, we have to do this. Like, it wasn't like, I literally couldn't bring in a hundred thousand GV myself. And we ended, um, I'm going to have to look at my calendar because I forget. We ended April with 63,000 GV. So we needed to, I don't even know the numbers. I don't even know what that is like 37 or something. I don't know. 37, I think. Yeah, whatever. But the month before we brought in 32. So I was like, okay, we could bring in, like, I, like, I was like, num like figuring out the numbers that we needed. And so on the morning of the 25th, we needed 27,000. And like, I looked at that number and I wasn't even scared. Like, I was just like, 
if God can bring in Chi bring in 67 for Cheyenne, what's 40,000 less than that for me? And I just kept saying that. And those are the things you need to speak over yourself. Like if you literally need 2000 GV, what is that? That's literally nothing, but it's, it, it takes a lot of work. So I'm not just here to say like, God's just like, like going to just do these things for you, but you have to put the work in. Like I literally was working like a crazy person last month. And I still have to do that this month too. I'm like tired right now, but I'm like, I have to like get myself together. And like, I still need to, like, I have to hit this promotion again this month. I don't want to just hit this. Like I'm thinking about the people who are like rubies and like emeralds popping up and like new double diamonds and stuff like that. Like their lives are completely changed and I'm not done. So even when I go ambassador and I'm in the top 10, I'm not done. Like you're not done until every single person on your team is where they want to be. So you don't have the time to be tired. You don't have the time to be burnt out. Like all of those things, it's just like bull crap. Like it's not even real. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just our, our like flesh just tells us these things. And anyways, so it was like, all right, we need 27,000. And like, I'm not kidding. Like there were times where I was like, I don't know if this is going to happen. Like, I literally don't know. And that's why I was so emotional about it. Like I wasn't emotional because I was scared that it wasn't going to happen. Like I was talking to my husband and he was like, what's wrong? And I was like, I'm not crying because it's not going to happen. I'm so humbled that God's going to use me to make this happen because I cannot bring in 27,000 GV. We had like maybe 15 to 20 people who saw the vision of like, we needed hundred K. Okay. Well, we have like 400 people on our team page. So that tells you like the ratio of how many people really cared for us to go presidential last month. And so it was just crazy. Like to see these people who like were committed, but then some people weren't, but it was okay because I knew God was in control. Never did I point the finger. Never did I like think like, where is this person? Like I was just so at peace and that's how your promotion month should be. Like you shouldn't, like, yeah, you should feel like anxious as like excited, but you shouldn't feel like anxious. Like this person needs to work and this person needs to work. Like that's not, maybe you're not ready for it yet. If that's how you feel. And so I just kept like trying to like live in that. Like, I just want your peace. Like I wasn't asking God for like the promotion. I was just asking for his presence. And I know that might sound silly, but when I asked for his presence, I felt peace and I felt the promotion. And I felt that promise of him telling me like, I'm going to do this for you. And so I just kept like, just remembering like what he told me and just tried to live in that peace. Now, that doesn't mean every day I was at peace because I wasn't, but I had to switch my mind very quickly. Like when people would ask me like, how close are you? Or, you know, what, what can I do? I'm like, pray. Like that's all I needed people to do because I knew that was so much powerful than someone saying, woohoo, cheering you on. Or, you know, just those like things people say, like when people, like I literally, like I'm not even kidding. I believe I probably had 50 people praying for me and that made me emotional. You know, so it's so important. Pray for yourself, pray for your team. Like, what are you saying to yourself? What are you saying to your team? Um, but we ended up making it happen. We, I mean, we didn't even make it happen. Like, I don't want to be like the whole promotion. I was like, it's not about me. It's not about me. Like it's literally for people who are in the Valley and they like, don't know how they're ever going to get back to where they were before. Like my story can inspire them. And that's like my main focus. Like, it's not about me. So many people were saying like, who's going to announce you? Oh my God, you get a ban. Like, I didn't even care about that. Like it literally never crossed my mind. I didn't have a promotion picture made until after we're sitting here at like midnight I'm like, Hey Gabby, can you make a picture real quick? Like it didn't even cross my mind. So many people like just think like so much about what other people think. And it was like, I didn't care about that. I didn't care who was going to announce me. I didn't care about being on the show me the money call. I didn't care about getting a BAM. Like I didn't care about being VIP elite. Like I didn't care about going presidential. I just cared that my story would inspire other people and lead other people to God. And like, that's all I want to do in this. Like, and when I do that, God will take care of the rest. He'll make sure I'm an ambassador. He'll make sure I'm a black diamond one day. Like you got to check your heart. You got to be like, why do you want this? Do you just want it for a title and rank? Cause God will take it away from you so freaking quick. I literally have like a post-it note and it says as quickly, he will give it to you as quickly. He can take it away. If you don't remain humble and if you don't put him first, and if you think you did it in your own power. And like I told God in October, like if I ever get on a zoom again, like, and you fix my business, you fix me mentally. Cause it wasn't just my business. It was me mentally. I had a kid, like I was going through like a lot of stuff. Like a lot of people on my team quit that I didn't think would quit. And I was like, please don't ever let me get the chance, like pass up the chance to talk about you, pass up the chance about how, tell people how important it is to remain humble, tell people about tithing, tell people about like not being an idiot with your money. Like it's so much more than just being like, Oh, I'm a presidential 
but there's so much more like responsibility that some people hold that don't say the things that need to be said. And that's why people take steps back. And that's why people don't push forward. Um, and I'm not perfect. I don't know where I'm going to end this month, but I'm at peace no matter where I'm at. Like, and I just know God's going to take care of it. And I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, but I'm also just giving it to him and releasing it to him and like 100% at peace. And that's how you should feel. Last thing I'm going to say before you ask me a question is my pastor on Sunday morning, I was listening to church and it was like everything was said, everything he said was exactly what I needed to hear. And I had to listen to that for me to know God could bring in 8,000 GB. Because looking at the numbers, it was impossible, like literally impossible that that was going to happen because we never brought in more than four a day. So how did we bring in double the amount that was ever brought in in the last day of the month? Crazy. Okay. And so it said, if you are depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. And if you're at peace, you're living in the present. Don't be so like, if you're depressed, looking at your last paycheck and your highest paycheck and you, you don't have that yet, who cares? You push forward. You have peace because you're living in the present. Like you, you're so much more than just a rank. You're so much more than just an income. You're so much more than just a title. You literally are here to like change people's lives and like tell them about God. And it, I know that may sound like crazy to some people, but that's how I believe it. Like that's what I stand by. And so that's what I'm going to say, but it, it just helped me so much. Like even going into this month, like, cause it's hard to say like, Hey team, great job, but we still got to do it again. We got to hit hundred K again. You know, like that's like, how do I, how do I tell them that? You know, but I know God's going to take care of it. I'm just going to ask him to make sure the right words come out of my mouth so that I can remain humble um, and just let him take care of the rest. So hopefully, hopefully that was good. I just literally just like ramble and I don't stop. So I just need to stop. No girl, you're totally fine. That was absolutely perfect. I just loved everything that just came out of your mouth, literally in the chat, it's like speaking live. Cause like that was seriously just so amazing. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so I guess my next question for you is, I know every week you take a Sabbath, and this is something that um, a lot of people on my team have been, I don't want to say talking about, but we have just been like, I don't know the right word for that, but I'm sure you know what we're talking about. But can you just kind of like talk about it and like what it's done for your business, you think, and kind of like what your day is? Yeah, newly introduced to us. Thank you, Danny. That was a good word. Um, but just kind of like talk to us about that and everything. Yeah. So, um, at the beginning of this year, um, God told basically my husband, like you need Ashley to take a day of rest. And I'm like, that gives me so much anxiety, but like, we have to do those things because if not, we're just going to feel burnt out. That means that we think we can do more in six days than God, or we think we can do more in seven days than God can do in six. And it's still hard for me on the last like second today, last day of the month was a Saturday and I didn't take it off. So I take Saturdays off. Um, it's Friday night to Saturday night. So it's around like Friday night, 9 PM to Saturday night, 9 PM. Now a lot of people do this, but they're still on their phone. That's not a day of rest. Okay. you you need to like 100% unplug from social media. I literally turn my phone off and I put it in my drawer and I don't touch it for 40 or 24 hours, sometimes a little bit over just depending on the day. Um, and like, it is so, it's so refreshing. Like you're not, nothing crazy is going to happen in 24 hours. And I always do Saturdays because there's not a call. Like it's not the, not Sunday corporate call and stuff like that. And I don't want to miss out on that type of stuff. Um, but it's just proving to God that you trust him. And like it, and I, it took me so long. Like you, you think like in the Bible, it says God literally created the whole world and the whole universe. And then on the last day he rested. So like, why are we not using that? It says, so there's so many sermons out there that I've watched. Um, Robert Morris, you can look up his, it's talks about the Sabbath and it's so important. Like, and I love that our company is talking about that too, because they've seen people get burnt out. Like Cammy. Cammy takes a day of rest. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I just love that so many people are doing it, but like you have to turn your phone off 100%. So what that looks like for me, um, turn my phone off. Like this may sound like lazy to some people. I don't care, but I literally sit there and watch Netflix when I turn my phone off. Cause that's the only time I really get to do it. You know what I mean? Like I catch up on at the time I like two months ago, I was watching Tiger King. Well, I don't watch that anymore because there's no more episodes. So that's stupid. But, um, just, just like, you have to have time to like rest and not feel bad if you want to watch Netflix, but I don't do it unless it's like my day off or like I've gotten all of my stuff done. So, um, and don't do this if you're not going ham six days. Like I don't want people getting like the thing that like you can just turn your phone off for an entire day. If you're just being lazy the other seven or six days of the week, like that's not what it's for. It's literally for people who are going so ham for six days and they can honestly like pat themselves on the back and be like you deserve a day off you have to ask yourself do 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 you deserve a day off because some people will twist it and not that's not what it's meant to be so I really talked to my team about that like if you're just half-assing it half ass it half ass it every day I don't care but like you don't get a day off if you're just barely doing anything um so that's
that's what gets me through the week. Like tomorrow's already Thursday. I'm like, all right. Like I literally have like all my stuff here, like that I've done. And then this is tomorrow. So like I can look at it and say two more full days, actually. I'm just going ham and then you get your whole day off. And it's so important. And um, I just, I'm so passionate about it because it's helped me so much. Like I truly believe like that's how our whole business turned around because like I get more time with God. Like I get more time with my family. Like I don't feel guilty. I don't have mom guilt. Like I get time to just rest and like clean my house and like not feel like a crazy person, like working 24 seven, because you're not meant to do that. Nobody's meant to do that. Um, and like I said, don't just do that. Don't just take the day off. If you're just being lazy and you just want to take it off, do it because you literally think that and believe that you deserve it. Um, but just based off of that, like I'm going to leave you with Chick-fil-A is the most successful fast food restaurant. Well, guess what? They're closed on Sundays. Like it's the exact same thing. Like that's why they have that. It's a day off to honor God. And that's how your business should be too. Um, but don't spend your day off getting drunk. Like that's not honoring God. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I've made that mistake before too. And then I feel like an asshole the next day. Like that's not what it's for. Your day off is to clean your house. Your day off is to have quality time with your kids, be away from your phone, not stress about your work. Um, go relax by the pool. But like, it's not for these fleshly things that we think they are for. Um, so I literally just wake up drink my Saturdays and the only day that I drink skinny brooks. I'm like, all right, I got to get some stuff down. It's just like cleaning my house and like just deep cleaning my house. Like every Saturday I mop my floors. Like some people maybe think I'm weird, but that's like peaceful to me. You know, I do all the laundry. I clean the, like just random stuff. Like I just clean. Um, and then I just rest. Like my dad has a pool and he lives like 20 minutes away. So recently on Saturdays, we're just going over to his pool and just like, resting and I don't feel freaked out. I don't even bring my phone and be like, Oh, well, what if I want to take a picture of Chloe in the pool? No, like that's no, like I literally don't take my phone with me at all. So I hopefully that was helpful, but I seriously think that if you guys are not doing it, you need to do it. Like you have, you need to start doing it for sure. No, I love that so much. And I was glad that you said that though, because like there are definitely, I know I was talking to Danny, who's um, one of our double diamond leaders. And I was like, there are just like some weeks that like, I know I don't deserve a day off. And I was like, so like, do I still take one? <laughs> like that was like the biggest thing. Cause like, obviously if you're like going ham every single day, then like, yes, then that's where, cause I mean, if you guys know me, I'm so green. So I was like, I just have a thousand questions over everything. Um, and <laughs> Also, I wanted to ask, someone else asked this in the chat, but what I was wondering too, um, what does your like day look like or like when you're working and everything, like what is that like going ham mean to you type sort of thing? Um, so another thing that I've been doing since the beginning of this year, like my phone goes on airplane mode before I go to bed. So I don't roll over and check your phone, check my phone. Like I promise if you guys do this, it will change everything because you're not waking up to distributors asking all these damn questions, which isn't bad, but it is bad when it's like, you just freaking woke up. Like you don't want to do that right when you wake up, or at least I don't, I'm just going to be honest. Um, and so I, my phone is on airplane mode and I probably turn it off airplane mode around like 10 30, which may give people anxiety, but that's just what works for me. Um, I wake up, I try to wake up before my daughter wakes up because it's just, you know, like time to just like drink my coffee and read my book. So, um, I do all my self development in the morning before like I turn my phone on. So what that looks like for me, um, is I have the, which I know a lot of people have, I, all my books are in my kitchen. So that's helpful. Um, the high God, it's me again, the high God, um, one more thing. That's my pastor, pastor Nicole. Um, she's ama amazing. You can find those on Amazon and it's just like a devotional. It's a 60 day devotional and there's two of them. Um, and then thanks Haley. Yeah. Hi God. It's me again. I feel like it's better than the hi God. One more thing, but whatever you want to do is fine. I read both of them every day, even though I've read both of them like multiple times, I read them over and over again. I have like a daily devotional. That's just like a Jesus calling or Jesus or Jesus always something like that. It's just really short. Um, and then right now I'm reading live by Sadie Robertson. If you guys don't know who she's off, she is, she's awesome. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you're probably super annoyed with this book. Everybody always literally changed my life. Like it talks so much about like, and it's not even business related. Like, and that's the thing, like, I know a lot of people want to read like Gary Vee and Rachel Hollis. Like, I don't even freaking know those people because I don't read those type of books. Like I like reading about like God and miracles and stuff like that because then it knows, like, I don't know, like that's just how I am. Um, but this is called Everybody Always. And it literally just talks about like how important it is to love people. And like, I think it's helped me so much in my leadership this past month. Um, because like people don't care like our team didn't like push super hard because I was a hard worker or because I deserved presidential. They cared because like I loved them and they loved me. And so when you love people, it, it takes you so far. And so this, everybody always, it's literally $10. If you don't have it, 
literally read it. You need it so bad. But I don't like listen to podcasts. Like sermons are a part of my day, but that's not my like listening to a sermon isn't, and I'm not saying that if you do that, that's not self-development. That's just not for me. Like I have to sit down and read a book. Like, and I can't even believe those words are coming out of my mouth because in high school and like middle school and elementary school, I literally like never read one book. Like, I'm not kidding. I literally never read one book. I cheated on every test and everything. Like I did not read anything. I don't know what's happened to me. I just asked God to help me with those things. And then it just, you know, helped me with it. Um, and so just the fact that I like want to read, it's just like, it's so cool. So anyway, self-development whenever I wake up. Um, and then I hang out with my daughter for about like, probably like two hours, no phone. And like, I read to her, like these things I'm reading, like I'm reading them out loud. We're like, we're hanging out, reading her, like reading. And like, I think that's important, you know? So I'm just spending that quality time with her in the morning before I turn my phone on because I just, I don't know, like, I don't want to have that mom guilt, you know what I mean? But like, it, it just helps me. So and I don't even know if I have anyone on here that's a mom, but I keep saying mom guilt. So I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, anyway, so then I turn my phone on and it's pretty much like I'm getting back to messages. I'm getting posts to post up. Like I'm getting giveaway posts up. Like if anyone says they'll post for me, like my first like four to five posts of the day are going to be giveaway posts. Um, and then it's just like really getting that post to post. And there's like other things where my phone's dry, like, and like, I'm waiting for people to respond to me. Like I will, um, interact for 10 minutes. Like I have it right here. Like I'll read my list. Um, read a chapter of my book, recent friends for 20 minutes. So like I go, excuse me, I go through and accept my friend request because I have like friend requests from people who want an entry into the giveaway from a friend posting about the giveaway. Hopefully that's not like, hopefully that makes sense. Um, so I go through my recent friends and I do that for 20 minutes. Like that's the first thing I do after I get back to all my messages. And it's cool because like, for 20 minutes, I can at least get down to people that maybe I haven't talked to two days ago that said they wanted information on the product. Like I'm following up with people every single day. If someone wanted information on the product, they're like, oh, well, I'll think about it. Well, you better bet. Like if I talk, they said that to me today, I'm following up with them tomorrow because maybe Friday by Friday, maybe they're not interested anymore. So it just helped me so much. Like going through my recent friends, 20 minutes, that's like, Hey girl, did you get a chance to post that? Like, I don't want you to miss out on getting an entry. So many people like say they're going to post for you, but they don't. So like host to post, like you have to follow up with them. So there's like multiple ways that like, just for me going through my recent friends really helps me. So I do that for 20 minutes. Um, and then like by then, like I get host to post up. And so like, I have like my tracker, like this is my tracker for today. Um, and I just got like a three ring binder and like, this is my tracker. Um, and these are the people who have posted for me. I still have like two more people who I need to post for me before I go to bed. Um, and like, yeah, my goal is 10, but like, there's going to be times where if you can get up like 15 to 20 hosts to post, why are you not? Like, if you know, getting up 10 is like, like you're going to have success. Why would you not get up more than 10? Um, so I know you guys know what host post is, but hopefully that's not like confusing. And then like, I'll tell people happy birthday. Um, I check on my old host posts that were up like the day before for seven minutes. Um, just interact with people, reach out to my teammates. And then I write down like any zooms, like right now it says like zoom with Cheyenne. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, that I finished that. Um, and then just like replying to the comments on my post from the day before. And that's pretty much it. Like it's nothing crazy. And that's the thing. Like so many people like overthink it, but like all of those things of like happy birthdays and interacting like that, sometimes that does not happen because my host to posts are blowing up so much that like, I'd rather focus on host to post and like going so ham on that than like, Oh, let me go follow up with people from five years ago. Like that's not important. You know what I'm saying? So like, if I'm doing like anything, it's going to be like self-development, reach out to my team and host to post. Those are like the three things that I'm going to be doing every single day. Um, but when I do have time, cause we're going to have downtime, no matter what, like there's going to be time where we're waiting for people to reply to us. That's when I'm interacting, doing happy birthdays, checking my volume, checking my cabs and stuff like that. But I'm not like living in E-suite. I think too many people do that sometimes. So that's pretty much what I do. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it, but it doesn't take that long. Like it's, it's not that long, but if I like, I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed tonight, like extremely happy looking at my list. And I want to do that tomorrow and I want to do that on Friday. And then that way on Friday night, I can be like, oh, I've had a great week. Like no matter what my enrollments may be, I know I've worked my butt off. And so I can take my day off on Saturday, but there have been times where I haven't taken my day off because I just kind of half-assed it through the week. Like, I'll be honest, you know? 
No, I love that. And I love literally everything you just said was so awesome. Um, I'm trying to think. I only have one more question for you. I didn't want to make this too long or anything, but um, I guess it's kind of like a last minute tip, I guess. But basically, we have so many girls, like I cannot even tell you how many girls that we have that are less than about 2,000 from Diamond, but even being over like 4,000 from Diamond, 6,000, I know it's possible. So coming from someone that just literally accomplished such a huge goal, what would like what is your biggest tip to tell these girls that are two, four, six thousand away from going diamond this month? Gosh, I feel like so much of it just has to do with like you have to believe it. So and there's gonna be days where you do have bad days and like you're like, well, I don't know how this is gonna happen. And that's when I say like you have to release that. Like you shouldn't have like all this anxiety and like pointing your finger at your team. Like that's not, I don't feel like that's what we're supposed to do. Um, and that, that does happen. Like that happens where we're overwhelmed and we're like, well, we already put this out there. Like, what if it doesn't happen? It's like, well, one, like you're already like counting yourself out by saying like, what if it doesn't happen? Like, why are you so worried if it doesn't happen? Most of the time we're worried it won't happen because we're embarrassed what people are going to think when we don't promote or if we don't promote. But like, that's not what we're supposed to do. Like that, God knows your heart. God knows that you've put the work in. And like, at the end of the day, it may not just be your month. Like, that's okay. Last month, Haley was shooting it, like shouting out that she was going double diamond and she didn't. And she's hitting double diamond this, this month. And like, she had to figure out that that reason why she didn't. And so we figured it out why she didn't. And now she's applying that this month and she has so much clarity with this. Like she's so happy and she knows that this promotion is happening. Um, but we're still so like fresh in the month. Like it's only the 10th, like it's not too late to decide like you are going to do it, but make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Like don't want to go diamond so that you can like blow all your money on like a Louis Vuitton. You know what I mean? Like go diamond so you can pay off debt, go diamond so you can have the extra money to start tithing. Like there's so many reasons that stand behind that money. Um, not just wanting things for ourselves, but you have to like, you have to put the work in. Um, and you have to get up your 10 hosts to post every single day. You have to be willing to learn. You got to get on the zoom calls. Like you're going to have to stay up a little bit later. You're going to have to wake up a little bit earlier. Like you're going to have to do more self-development. And so many times last Last month, people who like didn't promote, they weren't even doing self-development. They were just waking up and working. Like that's the worst thing you can do. It doesn't matter if it's a promotion month, you still have to do self-development. Like it's a, like, you still have to do a little bit, maybe not a two hours of it, but you know, 20 minutes of it. And a lot of people don't do that. Um, but you have to start speaking life over what you want. Like you have to say, like, I literally have affirmations that I've been saying for three years. And like, they're finally, they still not, like I've been saying, I'm going to, I am double diamond. I'm triple diamond. I'm presidential diamond. I've literally been saying that for three years. And now finally I'm presidential diamond. And it's just like crazy how just those words over time, like your mind, when you think things like your mind doesn't know if it's real or not. So like, it's so important. Like the things that you're saying are like more powerful than your thoughts, but like what you're saying, you have to like say, like, I am going to do this. When you have like a bad day, or you're not feeling a hundred percent, like that's when you need to reach out to your enroller. Don't go to your downline. Don't complain, but like reach out to your enroller and ask them to speak life into you. Like there were so many times where I didn't know if it was going to happen. I would literally like reach out to Rachel Jones and like shine in and be like, pray for me, like pray for me over a voice memo because I need to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And then three minute voice memo and I'm there bawling my eyes out. Like sometimes you just need someone that's going to pray for you and going to speak life into you. But like, you have to make sure you're like utilizing that. Like, Never did like Rachel send me a voice memo praying for me. And then I just sat there and was like, oh, well, that's cool. That's BS. You know, like I felt it, you know, like I knew that like it was going to happen. It was like the craziest, like just, I just had so much peace with it, but there were times when I didn't have peace with it. So, um, you're going to have to put a lot of work in, like, it's okay to like, look at that number and be like, wow, that's a lot, but it's really not like we have people this month that are shooting for like double diamond and Haley, I think you're, I don't even know how far are you from double diamond. And she's like, I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Like she's so independent. She didn't tell me anything. So I don't even know where she's at on her chart. So we'll just wait for her to put it in the, um, chat, but it's like 2000 for you to go. Yeah. So she has 56 orders away or 46 orders away at 60 BB. So she's like, she's going to do it. Like she's not even like questioning it. And last month she needed like, I think your number was like seven or 87 or something like that. Like the numbers are going down and it's, but it's also because she's putting the work in, like she's telling her team, like, this is what we need. Like, don't be afraid if you're going for diamond to talk to these people who are in these positions and say like, I need you. That's what I did to my team. Like I was not in a rude way. Like I need you, you need to do this. I was like, 
I need you because I can't do this on my own. And same with you, Cheyenne. Like, you need to talk to your team about that. Like, you need to be bold and be like, these were our numbers. And like, we're shooting for presidential this month. And like, this is what we need. Like, I cannot do this on my own. And I'm such a yellow where, like, if someone were to say they need me, like, game over. I'm going to do everything I need. Like, everything they need for, from me, you know? And so you're going to find those people. Like, we had people who hadn't been doing anything for six months. And I built them to die or built them to Ruby. And then just randomly, they got themselves the Emerald last month and they weren't even on my chart. And it's like, people just come out of the woodworks when you are like, I need you, but not in a rude way. Like you have to make sure you have the right heart and you have to make sure that like, you're doing this for the right reasons. And so when you do that, God knows your heart. God knows like the people who are coming in. And that's what I kept doing. Like I kept saying like, I don't know where this volume is going to come from. I would go live on our team pages. And I'm like, God, I just pray that customers are coming in from the North, South, East, and the West, like motivated distributors, high, big BB orders are coming in. And it was like the most craziest thing. Like right after I would pray those prayers, screenshots in our group chat, like this person, I've never talked to them before, just messaged me and they ordered 220 BV. Like those things can happen for you. And I believe that that happened for me so that I can share that with not only your guys' team, but other people's teams as well. Like your 2000 GB that you need is literally nothing. If you need 40, thousand GV. It's nothing compared to what Cheyenne was able to bring in. Like if I, I if God brought in 27,000 GV for us, what do you, why do you think that you can't, he can't bring in 2000? It's not about you doing all the work. It's about you doing the work and then like literally just releasing it to him and like going to bed and being like, I'm okay with whatever you want to do because I know I put the work in. The only time you're going to feel like super like aggravated is whenever low key, like you're mad at yourself because you didn't put the work in. Like that's the only time you're going to be like pissed because like, you know, you didn't work. It's not from like a, I put all this work in, I'm such a hard worker and it didn't work. Like, no, that's not what it is. It's the fact that you didn't work. You didn't put the work in. Like you said, you were, you're not a hard worker. Like you want to act like you are like you gave up, you know what I mean? And don't let that be you. Do not let that be you where on the last day of the month. And you're like, Oh my gosh, like, I'm, you're never going to be like, Oh, I wish I would have watched that season on Netflix. Like you're going to be grateful for the work you put in. And that's why I kept telling myself, like on the last day of the month, like I was like 8,000 GV, like in one, and I'm not, it wasn't even, it was like, we needed it in like 18 hours. Like I literally, like, I was like, I don't know how this is going to happen. Like this really scares me, but I was like, I'm going to work in with, I would have given up on that last day of the month. We would have not hit it. I signed 27 loyal customers on the last day of the month. 27 loyal customers on the last day of the month. Imagine if I would have woke up and seen that I needed 8,000, what would have happened? I would have quit. I would, none of, nobody on our team would have promoted. There were people who were being paid as executive that went, that re-ranked to diamond just, and they weren't anywhere on our charts, nobody's charts, but they were so on fire. And Haley was like, even if you don't promote, you've set the tone for our entire team that like how hard people are working. I've never seen people work this hard. I've never seen people see vision like this before. And so that's what Cheyenne Knox has done for you. That's what Cheyenne's doing for you right now. Like she's telling you that whatever her number is, your number is so small, but you have to come together as a team. If you're going for a double diamond this month, you're going for triple, say you're going for double and you need 15,000 GV, shoot high and hit 20, hit 25 so that you can help Cheyenne go presidential because you physically cannot bring in, she cannot bring in a hundred thousand GV. And I want to leave this with you, leave this with you guys is like Cheyenne is your guys' leader and put a one in the chat. If she's ever done anything for you. If she's ever like inspired you, if she's ever like poured into you, if her story has inspired you, there's chat right now. One, one, one. Okay. This is your chance right now to help her. Okay. And I don't even know, like she told me she's going presidential. I don't presidential, like that's her goal, but like, I don't know if she's told you guys that, but it's time to start being loud. It's time to start telling your team, like you can do it. And that's what I was telling you like last month. I was like, Look, I got my triple back and then the next month I literally went presidential. Like there is no reason why it can't happen for your guys' team. So whether if it's you're reaching high, you need 100K or you're reaching for 8,000, you can do it. You just have to believe you can do it. And you have to give it to God and you got to spend that time with him in the morning and you have to ask boldly like to the throne of grace. Like that's what it says, like come boldly to the throne of grace. And I like in the Bible, it says the willing and obedient will eat the fruit of the land. So I kept telling myself like, Okay. Well, that for me means like when God's telling me to do things, like I have to do them. And like, there were things that I was like, do I really have to do that? I really don't want to do that. Like just little things of like sending someone a book because I felt like God was telling me to send them a book. Um, 
like reaching out to someone and like, like just asking them to pray for me. Like last month, God told me like, I don't want you to drink at all. Don't want you to drink anything. And not a glass of wine, not a beer, nothing. Because when you do, your mind's not right. And I need you to have your mind right hundred percent. Like, so you can go presidential this month. And so he's telling me the same things this month. You want to hit presidential again? You're going to, you're going to get down on your knees in the morning and at night. And you're going to pray to me. You're going to get down on your knees. And when you pray, you're going to ask to remain humble. You're going to ask, um, for everything to be done in my, for me, not for you. And God just kept telling me those things, like get down on your knees and pray in the morning, get down on your knees and pray at night. I'm like, really? I could just pray like in bed. Like I'm tired. I don't want to really do that. But I did it every single, every single day last month. I did it every single day this month. I've done it because God told me to do it. And so I did that. I didn't drink one day I drank and it was the stupidest thing. Like literally I was like, Oh, I feel like an idiot. Like, why did I do that? God literally told me not to do that. Why did I do that? Forgave me anyways. It's fine. But there's those things and you're probably hearing those things right now. Like what you know, you're not supposed to do. And God really doesn't want you doing that. Whether that's Netflix or scrolling TikTok. I deleted TikTok this month because it's not good for me. Like it's, I don't want to do it. It's not, I'm not posting anything on their business wise. So I shouldn't be scrolling it. And so there's just some things you're going to have to sacrifice for you to hit what you want. So the way I take it willing and obedient, what's God telling you to do so that he can do things through you. And so that's just what, I don't know if that even helps, but this is your guys' chance to do this. Listen to that still small voice of the Holy Spirit and ask God what he wants you to do. And he will do those things for you and everything will fall into place the way that he wants it to. And it's going to be even bigger than what you can even imagine. So that's all I got. Girlfriend, that was amazing. <laughs> Literally, thank you so much for all of this. That was seriously so, so good. Um, I have like no other words. That was literally so good. Oh, this got really dark. Sorry guys. Um, but yeah, that was seriously so good. So again, thank you so, so much, Ashley. Um, also for everyone that wants to watch this recording, it is going to be posted on my YouTube and everything. Um, Ashley, I can't wait to watch you guys go freaking ambassador. I know it's coming. Oh my gosh. I'm just so excited. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. And again, thank you so much for hopping on with us tonight. Bye. Thank you. Bye.